Check out this video to learn words and phrases to talk about the coronavirus. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. Since it's been more than a year from the beginning of the coronavirus or COVID-19, I would like to give you an update for some of the words and phrases that will help you be able to talk about the coronavirus. I'm going to talk about 10 words or phrases that will help you be able to communicate about the coronavirus. The first word is pandemic. Pandemic. And a pandemic is a word we use to talk about a large global illness, a pandemic. It has spread. The disease has spread across the globe. We are in a pandemic. The world is experiencing a pandemic. We are still in a pandemic. Okay, number two is social distancing. And social distancing means we keep our distance from other people in social settings. When we are outside our house, when we are at the grocery store or supermarket, when we're at a convenience store, when we are in a public place. We practice social distancing. And for some countries, this distance can be different. Some countries use two meters, other countries use one meter, and people will practice social distancing. And you may see a sign that says, please practice social distancing. Or they put tape on this floor of a supermarket that shows where you are supposed to stand. Number three, wear a mask. In most countries, people are wearing masks. And when you go to a store, you may see a sign that says, please wear a mask. When I go outside, I always wear a mask. And I think you should wear a mask to protect yourself. But more importantly, you wear a mask so you can protect other people. And I think that's really important. However, in some places, some states in the United States, People do not wear masks. Personally, I feel that people should wear masks because it makes it safer for everybody. On to number four, which is cluster. Once more, cluster. And a cluster is a group of something together. So in this case, when we talk about the coronavirus or COVID, a cluster is a group of people that have the virus, all right? It's when a group maybe goes out for dinner together and they don't wear masks. And what happens? One person spreads the disease to the other person and the other people at the table, and that becomes a cluster. And then the waitress comes and she gets the virus, and this place, this restaurant, becomes a cluster. Same situation for sports teams. Maybe a team at a school has a cluster. The people, the members of that team, uh, the students perhaps, that becomes a cluster. Okay, number five. This is variant. Once more, variant. And a variant talks about how the coronavirus has changed over the last few months. What is a variant? I'll give you the definition right here. When a virus makes copies of itself, it sometimes changes 
a little bit, which is normal for a virus. These changes are called mutations. A virus with one or more new mutations is called a variant of the original virus. So now, around the world, we are experiencing these new variants. The virus has changed. And the new variants are much more dangerous, more deadly than the original virus. So many people are very concerned about the new variants. All right, number six is this word, lockdown. Lock down. To lock means when you lock the door, right? Lockdown is what happens when we ask people to stay home. Because the virus is very bad in that area or that town or city, the government will ask the people the citizens to lock down, stay home. So many people, if you have an illness, you are probably in lockdown. You are mostly staying home, lockdown. Number seven is this word, asymptomatic. A little bit difficult. It has many syllables. Asymptomatic, five. Once more asymptomatic. So you can see the word symptom is part of asymptomatic. If you want to check out symptoms from an illness, you can look at this video here. Well, when we have a cold, some of the symptoms could be uh, a runny nose, a runny nose, or <clears throat> a cough. Like that would be a symptom of a cold. So some people have zero, no symptoms for the coronavirus. For those people, we say they are asymptomatic. That means that person has no symptoms. And here's the dangerous part about the coronavirus. Many people are asymptomatic, especially young people. So they don't know they are carrying the virus. And then they go to class or they go to school events or sporting events. They're very close to other people and they can spread the virus to those people around them. So that is a real danger about the coronavirus. Many people are asymptomatic. They just don't know if they have the virus. Maybe they have a slight temperature, but they may be completely asymptomatic. Okay, the next two words are a little similar, but they are different. The first one is self-isolation. Okay, self, myself, isolation. That means if you are sick with the coronavirus, your government or city will probably ask you first to self-isolate. You are staying home away from people. Also, in your house, you probably need to stay in a separate room away from other people. Otherwise, you would spread the virus. So that is self-isolation. The next word is self-quarantine. Try saying it. Self-quarantine. Okay, I know that's a little difficult. Quarantine. All right, so self-quarantine is a little different than isolation. Self-quarantine means if you travel and you go somewhere, let's say on a business trip, when you come back home, usually the government will ask you to self-quarantine, meaning you stay home for maybe three days or five days or one week. So you will not spread the virus if you are asymptomatic to somebody else. If you go out to eat food with people and later someone in the group tests positive for the coronavirus, 
they have the virus, you need to go back home and self quarantine for a few days to make sure you don't have a fever. And that's when we would use self quarantine. All right. The last word is herd immunity. Yeah. Herd immunity. And this has two words that I will try to explain. Herd is usually a group. It's used for a group and primarily it's used for animals. But in this case, we're using it for a group of humans. Immunity means that immune, our body system, can fight off disease. So herd immunity means that most people in society, uh, maybe 70 or 80 percent of society, has experienced the coronavirus in their body and can fight it off, or they receive the vaccine, the shot in their arm, that helps them fight off the virus. So herd immunity is the point in society where the virus will not spread to so many people because most of society, people's bodies can fight off the disease. That's the point that we say society, that country has reached herd immunity. The virus will not be able to succeed and jump from person to person because most of society is able to boom, fight off the virus. Okay, those are 10 words that you can use to talk about the coronavirus. I hope this will empower you and give you the language skills that you can communicate about this topic. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and share it with other people. Thank you so much for watching and please be safe everyone.